See, we're talking this week about how the devil uses tactics to destroy our lives. The first tactic that he uses is to tempt you with sin. You see, when you first start out as a kid, particularly, because that's when all this stuff starts, when you start out as a kid, sin just doesn't seem like that big of a deal. It looks kind of cute, in fact. Warm and fuzzy. But sin is designed to destroy you. And you feed this baby long enough, and he's going to grow in your life until you got yourself a tiger by the tail. And you don't know which end is up. And what used to seem very innocent now controls your life. The devil goes after the young. Those who cannot fend for themselves. That's why we're trying to help you. We're trying to warn you. And while I'm on the subject, let me say something about Harry Potter. Warlocks are enemies of God. And I don't care what kind of hero they are. They're an enemy of God. And had it been in the Old Testament, Harry Potter would have been put to death. Amen. You don't make heroes out of warlocks. This is a generation that's going to stand for purity and righteousness and holiness and you're going to serve the Lord all the days of your life. And we declare all those things over you. I believe this so much that I have given my whole life to see to it that you get there. I sense in my heart tonight what I heard the Lord say is that there's some kids here that say they're Christians that go to church all the time but you're one thing when you're at church and you're another thing when you're at school with your friends you're a phony and a hypocrite you do things you shouldn't do you talk dirty just like all the other kids talk dirty and it's time to clean up your act come up here and get washed because we can't have phonies in the army of God if that's you Put your hands up here. Whoa, baby. Wash your hands. Father, we just wash them with the water of your word. We say no more, devil, no more. Say it, boys and girls, in the name of Jesus. You know exactly what you need to repent of. Name it. Name it out loud. Name it. What do you need to be forgiven of? No more hypocrisy. Now you get somewhere and pray and you start doing some repenting here. 